Hi guys, how are we doing? I feel like I've been in an actar trance hold for the last few months and the fact that I've just finished it last night, I feel like I'm hungover off the book that I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know where it, what, I don't know will a book series ever beat this? I don't know. <sighs> I'm emotional. I've never really talked about books on my channel, but this is the first book series I've ever read in my life. And feeling proud of myself is not an emotion I feel, especially as somebody who struggles with depression and anxiety. Feeling some kind of achievement or proud, I guess, of myself is something that I can't really do. But I'm trying to think and I'm trying to like, I don't know the words, but I'm trying to kind of realise that I should be proud of myself for what I've achieved and the fact that I've read these because prior to these books, I've never read a fiction book in my life. These are the first ones I've ever read. And the fact that I got into this one because, you know, I saw every girlie online talking about it. So I was like, if I'm gonna try reading, everyone's talking about it, it must be good. I'm gonna try that one. So I started this one and I didn't expect to like it, but I think the reason I like it or I liked it was it's so different to anything I've ever seen, read, experienced, ever in my life and I think that's why I liked it. I have tried to pick up like rom-com books or you know books that people have recommended and I just can't get into it because it's too obvious? Is that the right word? So basically I wanted to come on here and talk about how much I love this series and if you loved it too let me know. My plan now is to go on to more books. I think my next book is going to be Throwing a Glass. Dan bought me this for my birthday last week. Yes, I'm 27 now. I've seen that there's like different orders you can read it in. I think there's like a prequel and I've seen that the romantic order is to read it third, like Assassin's Blade third. So I think I'm going to do it that order. So I think I'm going to start this. I don't know if I'm ready after like this whole situation. I don't know if I'm ready to start a new one. Feeling of like wanting to read a lot of the time as somebody who struggles with depression, finding like an escape like that is really difficult. I spend a lot of time just mindlessly scrolling or just watching TV and just kind of feeling and also feeling nothing. But the fact that I wanted to pick up these books and it's like a healthy, I don't know if it's a healthy escape, but an escape that I really enjoyed. So I'm very thankful for these books. I know it's only tiny, but I now have my own little bookshelf of my own books, which I've never had before. I've been kind of distracted by books, which has been nice, but hello, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to my week. I'm now 27. My birthday was last week. Hi baby, you hungry? Let me feed, let me feed this guy because he's desperately wanting lunch. I need to figure out a lunch plan because I'm super hungry. I want to get outside today. I really do. Um, but getting outside has been <laughs> probably the, my biggest struggle in the last two weeks. I think I've been outside like three times, which is pretty good. I really want Club Mexicana, which I know sounds so weird. I've only been twice, but there it's a vegan restaurant and I wouldn't ever go to a vegan restaurant or like think to go to a vegan restaurant. Um, but I went and their cheeseburger tacos are like the best flavor thing I've ever had and they're, and they're gluten free and they can do one of the bowls gluten free as well. I'm desperate to try it. So I might actually see if it's on delivery and be lazy or I do walk and go get it. Oh, we're currently weaning him onto a new dry food that we got. So I'm mixing it in with his favorite food. Here you go, baby, can you try that for me? Easy, but I can feel like I can sense he's suspicious. Okay, I've always wanted to try the white rabbit pizzas because they're gluten-free and they look like they're actually gonna be like good. Whereas any gluten-free galleys watching me know, gluten-free pizzas, you know, they're quite hit and miss, let's just say that. They are never any good, let's be honest. It's looking, I've got a little flatbread to try. The dough looks really good. Like it doesn't look like a shit dough. So this is my little flatbread. Guys, I get the hype. It looks like a real like garlic bread pizza. Look at this dough. 
That is legit dough. Mmm. Look at that cheese. Oh god. Now I do a little birthday haul. I'm currently wearing my new jeans that my mum got me for my birthday and I have seen fit jeans on Instagram one of the many fitness girls that I follow on Instagram posted our fit jeans and I was like oh my god trying on jeans has never been a good thing for me finding a jean jean like shape that fits terrible angle of me but okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to insert a clip of me full length wearing these jeans so you can actually see. To try on a pair of jeans and actually feel <laughs> good about myself and confident. I'm wearing jeans and I'm like okay with it. And I wish I had found them sooner. I wish I hadn't spent so long gutted or upset that high street store jeans at different shops in different sizes didn't fit me. And I thought it was because of me and it's about just finding what fits your body like no matter what the size so my mum bought me these jeans and she also got me a few things from Tala as you know I love Tala I got the Dayflex leggings I love the Dayflex flares but I thought the leggings would be really nice for like Pilates or like a yoga class and she also got me a new Tala gym set this is the Sculpt Seamless set i have this in black and i fell in love so i asked for it in brown for my birthday so that's what i got from my mom i'm super super lucky that my dad did get me an apple watch for my birthday it's only been a week i've been like tracking my workouts and all these things and it's been amazing uh, i got it in this really cute starlight color and it just kind of matches my kind of neutral vibe and i got it with the band that doesn't have a like a a button or whatever it's called it just goes all the way around and i just feel more secure and it's so much comfier so yeah, I got Apple Watch. Woo! Dan bought me these zip-up jackets from Gymshark. He got me the one in brown and the one in black that matches the two gym sets that I already have. They've got this really cute like cinched in waist. So I've already worn these, that's why they're in my cupboard. Super lucky for all my gifts, very, very grateful. And I'm so obsessed with these jeans that I should probably take them off because I wanna wear them on Saturday for lunch. Okay, it's probably time that I put away my clothes I don't don't judge me guys but I share a wardrobe okay so the other day when I did clean washing I just threw it all there I came back from the holiday and I did like six loads of washing and I just put it all there because I didn't want to deal with it and I do need to have a bit of a clear out we need to do a little bit of a vintage situation as you saw from my packing video you know I've got some new holiday summer bits We've got a lot of winter crap in here that I don't wear. Um, so we're gonna go through it. We're gonna be ruthless because not only do I need to be ruthless so that when I open my wardrobe, I actually have things to wear. We're moving out soon, which means soon I'm gonna be packing up stuff into boxes anyway. So if things are already slightly organized and I already just have a wardrobe of things I like, it'll make life so, so much easier. I don't know if I've mentioned it. I've slightly mentioned it, but not really mentioned it. We are moving out in August. We've lived in the flat since last April, so May, June. So we've lived here for a year and two months, which is the longest Dan and I have ever lived in a place together. We are <laughs> pretty good at our little 12 month cycle of moving. So pretty proud of us that we're gonna be here for another two months which is when our tenancy ends, they put up the rent, all those things. Um, so we are leaving in August, we are moving back home, which from the bottom of my heart, I can tell you, I do not want to do, but it is the thing that's gonna get us to the next step. Long story short, we're moving out of here, we are getting a storage unit and we are putting all of our stuff into storage. As we kind of figure out our next step, neither of us want to settle down, buy a house, not that we can afford to buy a house or rent a house anywhere near home or anything like that. We don't wanna do any of those things. We don't know what we wanna do next. We have ideas of different things we wanna do. We wanna travel, we want to move to different places. So we're putting all our stuff in storage and I do like to have a plan, but I don't like to over plan. I don't wanna be like, right, I'm doing this, this, this and this. I just see what happens. Um, I'm gonna pull all of this out and probably will regret it in five minutes time i'm just gonna show you my jeans for a second so comfy also this is thor's zone where he sleeps he sleeps in here not at the moment though it's not where he lives at the moment i'll show you at the moment his new favorite place is under dan's desk 
in Dan's duffel bag which he used to really care about the shape of but now Thor sleeps in it and obviously we're not going to make him move so he just sits in the bag 